They are helping cold cases come back to life. The DNA Doe Project has been a big part of the Williamson County Sheriff's Office's cold case unit for the last two years. Recently, the nonprofit helped to identify 17-year-old Sue Ann Husky, or Corona Girl, after 30 years. The group also played a part in the Deborah Jackson case, or Orange Socks. KV's Monty Salazar tells us how the DNA Doe Project helps detectives solve these tough cases. It's like putting a giant puzzle together. Thousands of cases are waiting to be solved with DNA. So far, we have made over two dozen identifications of Jane Doe's and John Doe's all across the country. One of the solved cases, Sue Ann Husky. Williamson County deputies called her Corona Girl for decades before finding out her name. Do the genealogy. Get the DNA in there. Because if they don't have it, they won't find it. DNA Doe Project's lab liaison Kevin Lord says without people uploading their DNA results to websites like Ancestry.com, a lot of cold cases will stay cold. Here's how it works. First, detectives reach out for help and give them the evidence they already have. We'll work with them to have them get that sample, that evidence to a lab where they can actually extract DNA. When DNA testing is done, they'll make a file, upload it to genealogy databases, and get a list back of potential DNA matches. In most cases, we're talking more like second cousin, third cousins, fourth cousins, and beyond. Which is what happened in Sue Ann Husky's case. The investigative work kicks in after that. They'll search social media, public databases, anything that gives them a lead until they find their person. But it also is kind of just the beginning of helping law enforcement actually hopefully get that case solved eventually. Mari Salazar, KVU News. So in order to help the DNA Doe Project and detectives, you have to opt in on the websites like Ancestry.com or 23andMe to give access to your DNA results. It does not mean that they have your DNA, but they will be able to see if you match their missing person.